Hey everybody, I'm back with another ZBrush tutorial. Today we're going to be sculpting and painting eyes. So get ready, it's going to be very quick, very simple. Uh, I've got ZBrush loaded, I've got my Wacom pen ready, and I've got my golden milk. So let's jump right in. Alright everyone, we're going to start with the demo head, because we don't need to create a whole head for this. So let's just go to Lightbox, pick him out right there, and let's turn off perspective. As you can see, there's two subtools. One is just the head, and one is the eyes and the mouth. I'm going to hit Control shift alt to uh, remove the eyes. We'll go down to Geometry. Let's turn the subdivisions down to level one, and modify topology, delete hidden. Now the eyes are gone. All right, now we can go ahead and append a polysphere. This will be our new eye. Okay, before we get too far into this, let's pick uh, the material channel up here at the top. Let's turn off Z add. Go over here, let's assign the toy plastic material. That'll give the eye that, uh, that shine that we expect. Go to color, fill object. Now when I change mat caps again, you see the person, the demo head, changed mat caps, but the eye did not. All right, I'm turning off symmetry for a minute here. I'm gonna align this eye in the eye socket. I'm gonna shrink it so it, the width basically matches the uh, eye socket whole width and let's turn on transparency let's turn ghost off I think it's a little easier to see it's just so we can line things up a little easier keep shrinking it okay I think the width is all right let's raise the eye up push it into the socket Let's turn transparency off and take a look. Not quite what we want. We have to play around with this a little bit to get it right. Okay, let's turn on transparency again. It doesn't look lined up well. Let's lower it. Okay, I think that looks better. Let's go back into draw mode. And we're still using the standard brush. Let's turn RGB on. We're leaving uh, Z add and subtract off. And let's go ahead and mask out where we want the eye to be. I suppose it looks really weird with only one eye. So let's just go ahead. Let's go to C plugging, subtool master, mirror, and we're going to merge into one subtool on the X axis. Let's hit okay. Now we have two eyes. Okay. And we go ahead and turn symmetry back on by tapping the X key. And it's a little too big. Let's shrink it. So you can just create this mask over and over until it looks uh, right. And it's going to depend a little bit on the shape of your head. Okay. Go here, just trying to make it look a little more round. 
and we're going to invert the mask. Let's get the move brush. Since we're using symmetry, we only have to do this on one side. We're just going to pop this out a little bit, pop the iris out. All right, we move the mask. Let's go ahead and add more subdivision levels now. Smooth it a little bit. We don't want this to be pixelated, so it's okay to go into the million range for the uh, poly count. Okay. Let's do this too. Let's go ahead and use move and I'm just rotating the eyes in a little bit. There we go. Now let's go back to solo and we'll pick a base color for the eye. Once again, standard brush, RGB only, uh, turns the add and subtract off. I'm gonna go with a blue. And I've got symmetry on, so I'm gonna go ahead and shrink the brush down a bit and I'm just gonna paint this raised up area. And you want this base color to be uh, a darker color. So if you're going with blue eyes, make it a dark blue, green, make it a dark green, or whatever color you're using. It's okay for it to be a little bit blurry on the edges. And, uh, okay, there we go. Now, we'll pick a lighter color, and we're going to change the draw size all the way down to 1. And we're just going to go in and start drawing lines. We can also turn the RGB intensity down so we can create like an overlap. It's a lighter color. All right. One thing we can also do is we can add a little bit of a squiggly line in there to just add some more variation. Lower the RGB intensity. We can go with almost a white. White color. Just keep adding more layers of color to the eye. Another thing I like to do is go and pick something like an orange and we'll go really light and we'll just kind of push this color out from the center. All right. It's sort of subtle. You can play around with a few different colors too, like this kind of an aqua. You can go online, go on uh, Google, and uh, look up eye color references. And you'll find some really good pictures, and you can try to mimic those also. So play around with colors, go online, look at eye references, see what colors are in other eyes, and try to mimic that or just make something up. Okay, so since we had symmetry on, that's reflected on both eyes. Let's go ahead and... Turn solo off and see. I'm gonna switch back to white. All right, so coming along. Okay, let's go back to solo. We'll pick a black. We'll turn the RGB intensity up near the top. Get a little bit of a bigger brush size, and we will color the pupil black. Okay. There we go. Turn solo off. And there we go. We have some pretty decent eyes very quickly. So you can definitely use this to uh, retopologize and then export these uh, poly painted eyes as uh, texture maps for your project. Uh, that's about it. Uh, feel free to continue adding more detail as you see fit. But yeah, that's pretty much the basics of creating really quick and simple eyes in ZBrush. Thanks for watching. If you like this, go ahead and 
like and subscribe and I will see you next time.